Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 38, Football Manager 20. As we start to wind down the life of FM20 and head into FM21, still have a little bit of time. Real quick question for you guys. If you, uh, I have a player, uh, one of the new players that we signed, he was a young Bulgarian. One of the promises that he wanted was that I would try to sign a friend of his to help him get settled. I tried to take it out. He demanded it. I said, okay. And I asked him for a recommendation and I scouted that player, but I never got the scouting back before the transfer deadline. Well, now he's demanding a trade. I mean, literally first day of the season, he's demanding a trade because I broke the promise. Uh, I've told him just to put his head down and, and get to work. But I've also gone to the Bulgarian U19 national team, and I'm scouting them currently because I hadn't done that before. But where do you find on the player card? I mean, if we go in here, where is he at? Uh, here he is, Vidal. Where do we go to find – that's not him. Where do I go to find his – I mean, I saw the favored personnel, but they're all coaching staff. They're not players. So where do I go to find who his friends are to even have an idea about who to try to sign? I got no idea. I don't see anything in there. None of these have anything about a list of his friends. So if you know where to find that or, you know, basically what should I do in this situation, let me know in the comments because I have no idea. All right, so let's go to team selection. We're playing Preston. We are at home. So let's tick over to the home tactic. We are going with this uh, asymmetrical 4-4-2. Uh, we, so we're going with Wharton, McGinley, Ross, and Williams across the back. Palmer in goal. Mitchell, White, Stevenson in the mid. Diacotti in the defensive mid. Collins and Ida up top. Clark on the bench. Bilotti, Morell, Stewart, Yanov, Kiko, and Vitasevich on the bench. So, of course, you notice uh, our new guy not on the – well, our, not our new guy, but our – returning player in the midfield he's on the bench today well actually no he's not because he's not he's not fit yet so all right well let's see how this goes let's get a little creativity we get the throw in williams into stevenson oh he just pings it across there's mitchell lays it off to wharton who crosses it a header blocked, and then Stevenson with the rebound volleys it into the goal. And we're nine minutes in, and he has his first goal for the club in his debut. And he is showing why he looks so good on loan from Liverpool. Really good cross. The header blocked, and he just got the rebound. Good balance, good positioning, and he puts us up 1-0. He might score a lot of goals this year. That could be our uh, our dominant player this season. We'll see. All right, we win the header. Collins brings it up into the attack. Lays it off. White's there. Finds Wharton. Back to White. Not much in the way of ball movement, but Mitchell... Gets the rebound off the Collins shot, and he beats the keeper at the near post. His first goal of the season gives us a 2-0 advantage. Looking good so far. White and Mitchell working together in their pairing. They're on the left side of the central mid. There's a good ball up into the zone. Mitchell's tackled. Thought there might be a penalty there, but he recovers to get on the ball. Diacotti over to Williams. Williams into the box. It's there. Oh, it was saved by the keeper, but Ida gets on the rebound, and he does a slide toe, and that puts us up 
19 minutes in. We're going to give him some praise here. Eight shots, five on target, three into the back of the net, or in you know, at least across the line, right? That's all we're worried about. I'm going to dial back to positive here just so they're not running quite as much. Williams with the long throw into the box. Craig Mitchell turns on it, and that's his second of the game. And we're up 4 nothing. I don't know how the ball got through. They have yet to take a shot. We are really dominating things here. Excellent efforts. I think I'm going to make some early subs here. All right, they've got the throw in. This is out of their defensive end. We may be able to steal this ball. Well, it's over the top, all the way down to Palmer. It's an interesting highlight as we go from end to end. Uh-oh, there's an interception. They can get on a counter. All right, we get on that one. There's Stevenson. He loses it. Boy, this is back and forth. Wharton, he's on it. McGinley, over to Rawson. Interesting highlight. Oh, he just gets it over the defender in that passing lane. Mitchell's there, and all of that for a easy save by the keeper. All right, let's uh, let's make an early sub. Everybody's playing well, right? Everybody's playing well. Let's bring Bellotti on for McGinley. Let's bring on Leighton Stewart for Aaron Collins. You know, just, you know, when we're winning games like this, I want to try to give some players minutes. Uh, let's tell them to concentrate. We don't want them to lose their, their focus here. All right, they're overwhelmed. Oh, my God. We have to think and concentrate. <laughs> All right, Mitchell gets tackled. White cannot come up with the ball. Some good movement there. Nice one-two passing. He loses it again. Sharon poaches him. There's a tackle. Up to Stewart. Stewart turns, shows a little turn of pace. And that, that was not good, sir. That was not good. So we are at home. We've got 6,740 in attendance. Not a bad crowd, but again, it'll be interesting to kind of get a better feel once the new state, once the stadium expansion is completed. All right, there's a nice ball up. Stevenson, heavy touch, loses control. Wharton gets on the on that clearance. Gets it back up into their half. Drops it in. Stewart's on it. Lays it off. White, Mitchell, and Ida offsides. Yeah, don't run off and celebrate that just yet there, Ida. All right, let's make the last sub. Craig Mitchell, Stevenson, Mitchell. Let's bring on uh, Vitasevich for his debut. And let's, uh, let's tighten up. They're frustrated. That's okay. And we cruise to a 4-0 victory. 20 shots, 11 on target. Three chances created and four goals. Got to like that. Got to like that. Excellent efforts. That's a good start to the season that puts us top of the table. Dominant win. Stevenson scores on his debut. Bilotti and Vitasevich also make their debuts. Two goals, four shots on target for Craig Mitchell. Very good game. And we'll be back for Millwall in just a second. 
We've had a little bit happen between matches on the transfer front. We've got a couple of loan offers out for a couple of players. Nothing's uh, been uh, decided yet. Uh, anybody else find that MLS teams are really cheap? I mean, I've got it set that if anybody is loaned out, they need to pay 100% of their salary. And the MLS teams are always coming in at you know for freeze, you know, for us to carry the entire salary. And I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> not going to do that. All right, we're playing Millwall, but we are on the road today, so uh, we are slight underdogs. Uh, Millwall won their last match by a one-goal differential. So we're going to go with our away tactic. We'll have Ida and Collins up top. Basically, it's the same team. Uh, Diacotti might be leaving. Uh, he might be leaving. Uh, I am going to put... I'm going to put Joe Morrell there. Yeah, McGinnis is not ready to play. So let's put Morrell there. And I think I want to set his training up too. We'll take a look at that later on. Be nice to get off to a good start. Let's get creative. Stevenson steals that kick. Tackled away from him. So I have noticed here in the first two matches, he does lose possession just a little bit. There's a through ball. All right, we pounce on that one. McGinley makes a charge. Ida picks up the pass. He's into the box, and Rodak falls on it. White pumps that into the box. It's cleared out. There's Morell. Through ball, Ida's there, and again cannot beat Rodak across the face of the goal. So a little bit of struggle from the strikers trying to find the net. Ida's there, Mitchell. He's tackled, but he stays on his feet, and now he's pumped down in the box. And then Harvey White, of course, is our penalty extraordinaire. He will line up to take the penalty, looking for his first goal of the season. And he puts it in. Who was that? Uh, do you guys remember who our, it was our center back? It was one of my early FM20 saves. And he, he same thing. He was a center back, but he was our best penalty taker. And he had like two seasons where he finished with double-digit goals. Uh, mostly off of penalties. Do y'all remember who that was? I don't recollect right off the top of my head. There's a defensive header win. White up into the attacking zone, and he pumps it in. Rodak with another save. They're not making him work very hard. Let's ask for some more creativity. Millwall, again, yet to put a shot on goal. I don't think you could play from much deeper in your end on a throw, huh? <laughs> Pressure's on. Oh, Williams gets a toe on that to keep it in play. It would have went out for a throw for us. All right, goes all the way across to White, up to Collins, back to Morell. He plays it over the top to Stevens. There's a square, and unlucky, unlucky. Let's demand a little more here. A couple of yellow cards. Williams into the box. Rodak, easy save. Boy, he's uh, been getting a lot of face time here on uh, today's match. White through to Ida. Ida, there's a goal. Second of the season. One-timer. And that puts us up 2-0. That was a nice play. Very nice play. Oh, that's yellow cards for them. I'm, I'm looking at the wrong team. Anybody else conflicted why both teams are wearing blue? 20 shots to zero, but only eight on target. Need to do better. Need to do better. 
Harvey White has lost possession more than any other player. Um, let's take a look at him. Passing, dribbling. If I, yeah, I already have it on dribble less. Mark tighter, run wide with the ball, support. All right. I guess, uh, I guess we keep it there. I'd, you know, I, I don't know. All right. They're excellent efforts. That's going well. So again, we'll ask for, well, let's give him some early praise. Morell runs that down. Rawson plays it back to Palmer. Out to Williams. Back into the mid. All right, there's a ball up. That's one way to get it, uh, get it out of the zone, I suppose. Collins beats his man, jumps over a tackle, but can't find the net. A little unlucky there at the end with the finish attempt. There's a header, and oh, I thought that was going in. Rodak, really nice save there. Really nice save there. All right, set piece. This could be dangerous. Goes wide. Let's go ahead and make a quick sub. Uh, Harvey White. Let's move. Uh, let's move Morell. I think right. I'm gonna bring on Diacati. Actually, you know what? Let's give Kiko because if we sell, if we put Diacati out on loan, then Kiko is gonna be the one there, and then Kiko will move with Morell. <coughs> and that puts Morell into the playmaker role. And I'm going to bring on Leighton Stewart again for Collins. See how that works out. He gives another set piece. Headed out, cleared by Mitchell. That's nice. And then he makes a run on the ball and almost beats the defender to it. That was pretty funny. All right, headed down. Ida finds Rawson. There's Morell. Good first touch. Over the top. There's Stevenson. Heavy touch. Heavy touch. All right, Ida picks it up. He's into the box. He's there. It's saved, and Leighton Stewart gets his first off the rebound. So another good save by Rodak off of the Ida shot, but Stewart was there to put it in for his first goal of the season. Gotta like that. I tell you what, I cannot wait for this. Our, oh, Wharton. That's not how you want to give up a clean sheet. Come on. Now, nah, corner of the net. Good shot by Lawrence. His first goal of the season. That one goes on Wharton. Surprised he didn't get a card for that. I'm liking Stevenson, but boy, he's losing the ball an awful lot. Uh, it goes through. There's Stewart. Oh, and he cannot find a home for that ball. That was a little unlucky. All right, Stevenson, let's bring Nico Williams up for him, and then Yanev will bring him on. I believe that's going to be Yanev's debut. Did we bring him on last match? You see how quick I forget things. Crossed in. There's a block. Back over. <laughs> uh, let me check something here. Yeah, we don't have... Uh, we don't have that on. What about... I'm going to turn these off. One of the things that I read uh, or saw on, a, on a, a video was, okay, if you read about this, it instructs the players to hold the ball. So if your winger gets the ball out on the flank, he'll actually hold the ball up to try to let the fullback overlap him rather than continuing on his run if he's beaten his guy. So sometimes that's not a really good idea. 
Let's turn that off and just see what that does. Uh, let's tighten up Palmer. Oh, there's a nice ball out. Williams. Williams beats his man. He's into the box. He takes, oh, Stewart, where were you at on the end of that? I think you should have been looking for a goal there, buddy. Williams again. Plays it through. There's Stewart. Couple of deflections. That's back. Somebody take a shot, will you? Did he kick that? No, okay, that was a corner. I, I couldn't tell if there was if the defender knocked that away, but it just looked really bad. All right, another header goes astray. Stewart controls it. Gets it back into Kiko. There's McGinley. And a solid win. Three to one. Excellent efforts. Sure. I think that's a great start to the season. And one goal, one assist, and five key passes. So we're going to tell him his passing looked good because I do like some passing. All right, so a two-win episode plus six on the goal differential. Can't complain about that. We are sitting top of the table early. And who is down in the relegation zone? MK Dons, Rotherham, Preston. Where do we come back at? Is the Carabao Cup a thing? Reach the third round, but do, do I care about the Carabao Cup? Not really. So I think we move on with that. Let's come back for... Well, Birmingham's going to be televised. Rotherham. Let's come back for Watford and Birmingham. Two away games. I like to do a home game, but, eh, you know. We do get 15000 but we don't get any money out of that, we learned. So, yeah, let's come back for Watford and Birmingham. So we'll see you guys the next episode for that. That'll give us a run of games to see how we are faring at that time. Hit that like button. Don't forget the notification bell so you get email updates when the video goes live. And those videos for FM20 are going up Monday through Saturday at 11 a.m. Central Time in America. And I believe that is... 5 o'clock in the afternoon in England. Uh, I don't know how many time zones there are in England, but uh, I know most of England is uh, six hours ahead of me. So 5 in the afternoon uh, England time. So 11 o'clock here in uh, Central Time Zone in the States. We'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Football Manager. Take care. Bye.